Welcome back and thank you for staying with us. East African Breweries Limited, EABL, has saw a 12% decline in their profit after tax falling to 10.9 billion shillings for the fiscal year ending June 30th. The company's year earnings were impacted by interest payments, increasing inflation shillings, devaluation, social unrest and floods. The year 2024 for East African Breweries Limited can only be described as a year with mixed fortunes. It was characterized by significant challenges and remarkable achievements. The EABL management noted that the year, which ended on 30th June, was marked by volatility in the East African region and significant exchange rate fluctuations. Challenges led to a 12% drop in the brewery's earnings after tax, from 12.3 billion shillings in 2023 to 10.9 billion shillings in 2024. Despite the drop in earnings, there was a 1% increase in volume and 13% increase in net sales, reaching 124.14 billion shillings, up from 28.8 billion shillings. But our consumer therefore continues to be impacted by pressure from a spend perspective. So when we look at the share of wallet competition between different staff that a consumer has to do, we are finding our category shrinking. And therefore, they're having to reprioritize what they need to, to spend on. Uh, we did feel the impact of fuel price increases of about 14% impacting our distribution costs. We continue to feel some pressure, although reduced on ethanol pricing at 17% up year on year. Sugar was another headwind at about 26% growth uh, in cost and glass at about 7%. So you can see the pressure on our cost of sales. During the year, EABL registered growth in all three markets. Kenya led with 15%, accounting for 65% of the group's total earnings. Uganda followed 12%, making up 21% of the total revenue, and Tanzania grew up 9%, contributing 14% of the company's earnings. In terms of products, there was a 13% increase in premium products, with beers growing by 12% and mainstream spirits by 10%. I think from a commercial execution, I think we believe in FMCG must be available within arm's length wherever you are. So really driving uh, availability using current old channels as well as emerging new channels so that we, our brands are accessible to you. We are also winning at point of sale. If you go to supermarkets or in some outlets, I think there is great execution. To reduce their carbon footprint, EABL has collected over 17 million bottles for recycling through its Redisha campaign. The brewery is set to make further investments to reduce operational costs, which grew by 18% through strategic investments. For the year under review, stakeholders will benefit from a dividend payout of 7 shillings per share. Reporting for the Tandawa News Outlook, I am Ben Mike Wekesa.